In this video, I just wanted to share some quick tips on properly rigging and retrieving soft plastic jerk baits. Now, these that I have here, these are the Alabama Leprechaun uh, jerk sheds that we sell on our page. So you can definitely check those out there. Now, jerk bait style lures are very effective inshore. They're probably one of my go-to types of baits for inshore. They're very versatile. They could be worked at plenty of different types of depths you know you can work them really shallow you can put them on a jig head and fish them deeper but what i'm going to show you here is my go-to uh, way for rigging these up so let's go ahead and show you that now the hook that i like to use this is a three aught one eighth ounce owner twist lock hook and i like that heavier weight because it keeps this bait more straight in the water it keeps it from you know twisting and turning too much it keeps it more straight and streamlined and how you rig these up is going to affect how streamlined they are as well. You want to make sure they are as straight as possible. So what I like to do first is line it up on that spring, like so. Make sure that spring goes right in the center of the bait. Twist it onto the lure so it's completely on the spring. So as you can see there, it still moves around nice and freely but it's pushed all the way up onto the spring. And then this is the important part right here, making sure that hook point comes out in the middle of the bait. If not, while you're retrieving this lure, it's going to spin around and helicopter, which you don't want it to do. So as you can see there, that hook point is right down the center of the body of the bait. That's a nice streamlined bait right there. Also, you wanna make sure that the bait is not curved or anything like that because that will also cause that bait to uh, helicopter and spin. Again, you want this bait to run nice and streamlined, nice and straight. So it basically just darts through the water like so. Now, a quick way to just see if your lure is rigged up properly is if you're on the water in your boat, you can just drag the lure through the water and you will notice it will swim nice and straight if you just drag it like so. Now you can also pop it on the bottom and check that few pops you'll notice it nose dives to the bottom see if we can go over here see it a little better as you pop it notice it doesn't spin just darts through the water and nose dives so now as far as properly retrieving these baits there are a few different ways you can go about this and for me it really comes down to the type of species that I'm going after and then the speed is going to vary based on how active the fish are, you know. Uh, is it really cold out? Is it really hot out? Is it in that ideal temperature range? All those different factors and variables are going to come into play. But I just want to break it down pretty simply here and show you what I like to do. So for redfish or fish that are being very lethargic, uh, not feeding too aggressively, what I like to do, get a nice long cast of course, and then as you're retrieving this lure, basically just let it sink all the way down to the bottom depending on how deep you're fishing and I just like to give two or three quick bounces on the bottom and then let it sink all the way down and make sure you reel in that slack keep the line fairly tight again a couple bounces let it sink down to the bottom lower the rod tip and reel as you're bringing in that slack because if a fish strikes it'll typically strike on that fall so you want to keep your line nice and tight Pop it again, keep tension on that line, reel down. Now that retrieve will also work well with flounder because with flounder you want to keep that bait down close to the bottom, which is where those fish are laying. So if a bait comes by, they will quickly jump out and go after it. Now for trout and snook, I have found that a faster retrieve will work much better. But again, same principle, letting that bait sink all the way down to the bottom. And depending on how aggressive those fish are, uh, behaving I will go with a pretty quick couple twitches pause and it really comes down to that pause that pause is a lot shorter when I'm going after trout and snook so again one two one two quick pause one two one two quick pause so that more erratic retrieve is what I like to use if I'm going after trout and snook now lastly, when I first get out on the water, my go-to uh, type of retrieve is going to be that sort of redfish retrieve where you cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, do two or three sharp twitches and then let it sink and do a pretty long pause. 
because that's going to keep the bait in the strike zone longer and also it's a more all-around retrieve you know it's more suited for all species not just one in particular if those fish are hungry something's moving slow they're gonna go after it so again if I had to just pick one type of retrieve it would be a one two pause one two pause or one two three uh, pause but again nice long pause on the bottom anywhere from two three up to five seconds or so so that will wrap up this video on properly rigging and retrieving soft plastic style jerk baits if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below till next time thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video